Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, the Elsa Box, and today I'm here to show you all a very simple makeup look that I would do on a regular basis, maybe to go to office or uh, anywhere just outside casually, just to eat a dosa. Okay, so let's get started. Start with some rose water. I really love Poroline because it keeps the skin really glowy and uh, hydrated. It even repairs the skin really fast. So I'm gonna put some on my lips because they're like really gone with the summer. They're torn apart and under eyes. Because like eyes get dry really fast. So you know if you don't want like a cakey makeup, you better use some product that hydrates both your lips and your eyes because that's the first part that starts cracking out in makeup usually and then it goes up to the forehead and the cheeks and everything just that the smell of borolin is very herbal but uh, other than that i guess it's an amazing product very cheap very sustainable and uh, it's just 80 bucks and i have been using this box for around uh, six to seven months easily now because i use very little of it let's get started with my makeup so the first thing i bought uh, along with my makeup was a makeup pouch that i got from kolkata from Sri leathers i really found it amazing like it was a wholesale leather shop and uh, it stores all my makeup if you can see it has everything inside it and i carry this everywhere this is so easy to carry as well it has a handle as well so yeah and it's so easy like it has a magnetic clip so like it just goes like this anyway so before i get started with my makeup i like using a face oil uh this face oil i've been using for two years like not the same bottle but uh, repeatedly i keep ordering this it's called the packaging is like completely gone but it's a 24k kumkumadi thailam by uh, the tribe concepts and uh, this works wonders for me because i have a combination skin so i would not recommend this for people who have oily skin yeah it's like this orange color oil you can use any type of face oil if you have a dry combination skin because otherwise your makeup tends to like break out very easily so Keeping the skin as hydrated as possible is the best way to start your makeup. Okay, so once I'm done with this, in the meanwhile, I would suggest that if you have a blender, if you do makeup with a blender, soak your blender in water so that, you know, it releases all the oil from the previous makeup. And in the meanwhile, we could to just use some primer. Mm -hmm. So once I'm done with my face oil, it's recording no? Once I'm done with the face oil, the next step is to use a primer. And uh, I use a very light primer. It's by L'Oreal. Okay. So this is like a cream and gel combination. You, If you have an oily skin, please go for a gel based uh, primer. And uh, there's a gel primer that comes in the same brand so you can check it out i really like this one because it coats the skin a lot a primer is basically used to uh, close all the open pores that you have on the skin and settle the skin down so that it creates a proper base for putting your actual base once i'm done with the primer it's time for some concealer so uh, I usually use foundation only if I have a very heavy look to do if I don't have a heavy look to do I just cut out the foundation I just work with the concealer so I have two concealers one is this Maybelline one which is uh, pretty affordable if you want to go for a cheaper one this is actually good but otherwise I found K-Beauty to be really very good. I use their lipsticks, concealer, fixing powder 
and I'm yet to use other products of that brand but I really love K-Beauty and I'm using uh, K-Beauty concealer right now. I will drop the shade in the description below. This is one mirror I got from Mini so long back. Inner corners, under eye, above the eye, above my eyebrows, one line on my nose, my upper lip, uh, a little bit here and the remaining that is on the stick, I'm just gonna put it like two strokes. Now it's time to blend this. So the beauty of setting a concealer is the blending of the concealer. If you don't blend it properly, how good a concealer you use, your makeup is not gonna come good. So it's very important to blend the concealer properly. So the simple technique of the blender is to just dab, 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 dab. You've got to have a lot of patience. If you don't patience, then you not have makeup. Now I'm going to put some highlight on it. Do you see the difference? The next is when you put concealer, you have to fix it. This is a fixing powder. So this is a banana, I guess, yeah, setting loose powder banana. This is again uh, K-Beauty and I really like the finish it gives. So it's got a very nice mechanism ki, you know, pura powder ek saath se bahar nahi aega. There's a net here, aap isko aise dab karo. Aur itta powder hi aata hai jitna ek part ke liye fix karne ke liye ho. इससे क्या होता है is that concealer बैठ जाता है skin पे और निकल के नहीं आने लगता क्योंकि usually you start sweating and concealer निकल के आने लग जाता है तो इससे अच्छे से set होता है और काफी घंटे तक it lasts इसको भी same दा 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 now let's do my favorite part that's the eyes I have a lot of palettes but like when I have to do a very regular look I use this palette, it's PS Cosmetics, uh, one of my friends got it from the UK so I've been using this. Otherwise there are uh, good palettes of Revolution also that come that have really nude colours. So just see that you have nude colours around for a daily look and a card extra dark colour bhi hua to chale. Uh, I have a couple of brushes that I ordered long back from Amazon and I use them. I don't use these big brushes anymore. But uh, yeah, I use these tiny brushes when I have to do detailed eye makeup or something like that. And I have this other uh, birthday cake makeup palette also. I have a revolution palette also that is currently not here. I'll have to get up and go get it so I'm not getting up. <laughs> so anyway, today I'm doing a nude look. So this is all not required. But these are the kind of pop colors also I keep because if I want to go heavy on my eyes and wear something sober, I really love doing my eye makeup. So yes. Uh, I invested in one really good brush by Reni or uh, the brand. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sorry if I'm not. Uh, so this brush is really good. It's two years old and it's still so strong and good. These brushes, the bristles of the hair, are, uh, sorry, the hair bristles are not so good. This is very soft and gives a really good finish. So this one brush does the work of almost everything. I do my blush, I do my eyeshadow with this. Uh, so yeah, so this is like blending R5, the type of this brush. So let's start by doing the base of the eye. So now for the base of the eye, I'm going to use this nude shade. I'm not putting it everywhere around the eye. So now again, you're not going to rub it. Now when you're applying it, you've got to dab it. Okay, so we're going to start dabbing. And we're not putting it right here. We are trying to make a rainbow here. Okay, so let's start. See, just by dabbing, see the difference. There's so much product there. We can blend it later and make it lighter. And now we can just blend it by going around in circles. So it blends everywhere around. Same to this side. So now that we have the base ready, now we're going to pick a shade. 
I'm gonna pick this lighter shade and I'm just gonna cover the upper lid of the eye here just a very little bit so I've taken very little product I'm just gonna dab here in the inner corners okay same on this eye okay so we're done with the inner corners you can like just blend it towards the outer so that very less goes to the outer now just for an effect of maybe lifting your eyes on the outer corner we're gonna do one thing i'm gonna use a flat brush for that and then blend it with this brush so these are two types of flat brushes one is absolutely flat one has an angle so we're gonna use the angle or one you can take any of the darker nudes that you have on your palette so i'm gonna maybe take uh, this because we're going for a day look so now on the outer corner we're just gonna make a line see that's a lot of product so now we gotta blend this the same i'm gonna do here and just to take off the extras you can just dab on it extras apne up niklenge now we're gonna blend this very gently in circular motions if you want a really sharp angular look i would suggest you put like a tape here in the angle and then do it i usually don't prefer that because i'm gonna put eyeliner on this so i'll angle my i'll angle my eyeliner accordingly but yes we're gonna add some more to the base here just above the eye eyelashes now we're gonna blend this again very little no pressure very gently it should feel like a feather is running on your eyes always hold the brush like you hold a pencil base we are going to put some liner and finish this look so this is uh, the current eyeliner that i'm using i keep switching my eyeliners cuz i have not found a perfect brand of eyeliner yet but uh, this is good it lasts for at least 4 5 hours and uh, it's a matte black signature of l'oreal paris looks like i feel that a little bit i just like the packaging and it has a easy applicator it's a sturdy one but i'm going to make an angle and do my outer corner okay i made one line here make another line here now they both are on the same angle okay so now i want a really thin one let's try getting a thin one so i'll stretch my eye out so that i can make a straight line but i'm going to do the outer corner first there you go we got that straight line if you want to fill in that you can fill in that or just leave it totally up to you at times i fill it at times i leave it because it's another style and again we're going to repeat the same here okay i have achieved the same on both eyes now we're going to do the inner corners this has like a metallic ball inside that i really like cuz uh, nail paints mein bhi aise hi hota hai right awaaz aati hai satisfaction milta hai ki ha product hai hum par so now the inner corners this looks perfect so we're going to let the eyeliner dry a little bit <laughs> now we're going to do some mascara and do the brows so for a daily uh, look i don't work much on the brows and the mascara because uh, so i got this transparent mascara cum lash sorry lash cum brow filler so this is from elf cosmetics and uh, this works really well <laughs> this is pink because of my I make up I've been using this for very long and this is a little, little brownish because of my concealer but originally this was completely transparent okay this was totally transparent so this is a clear brow and lash mascara let's begin with doing the brows first so when we are going to start doing the brows gently just go along with the I don't work much on my brows cuz genetically I have amazing brows <laughs> 
so that is one brow down you can see the difference there's a, you will see a very light difference zyada farak nahi dikhega but yeah it will like stand out and shine a little bit more that's all so as i said i have already have thick brows so i don't need to work much on it if you want some brow video suggestions i can uh, look it up on youtube and share the link with you i don't think so i'm ever going to do like a brow uh, filler but if you do want any suggestions on makeup you can always uh, message me on instagram i go by the name arista box underscore ss on instagram and ss stands for shruti shridhar that's my name and uh, yeah so you can dm me there and i'm very happy to always help you out so before i do the lash i'm going to wet my lashes a little bit with my hands itself i like dipped into water just to like hold all the lashes together so that when i curl them with the curler it comes together like very little water so now let's curl this with the curler you can like count up to 30 and release like 30 seconds is enough for one side you see the difference i hope you can see the difference cuz i can see the difference now once we put the liquid it's going to look even more enhanced we gently going to just scroll up roll up going to work on the blush so i'm going to use the same rene brush that i have and the same palette i don't have a blush palette separately i use my eyeshadow as my blush so there's this glittery pink one so i'm going to use that directly so that i don't need to play around with highlighter a lot so again three steps dab 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 try to make like a a curvy triangle with the brush so like just follow this this and this line got it a little bit of nose with the remaining product now we're going to do some lipstick it's a lipstick plus lip liner from k beauty I'm just gonna draw around my lips. Give it a base. Just dab. I have this NYX nude matte lipstick. This is like good for a regular use, not for a longer time because this starts cracking eventually. But I put a little bit of this. the lipstick tends to stick it to your um teeth so what you do is it happens because center mein kaafi lag jata hai so what we going to do is just take a finger and put it in the mouth and slide it out can you see my finger this product on it and if you want to go out in this look not to office you can just put highlighter i don't put highlighter for office so this is a complete office look Now the last and final step to the makeup that we have just done so beautifully is the fixing spray. So this is a fixing spray that I got from Faces Canada, and it works really well. From a distance of at least thirty centimeters, I just spray it on myself. That's all. I do like five six sprays. If you want to do less, you can do less. It's gonna feel a little wet, but let it dry. Done. Now I'm just gonna set my hair and get ready for work. <laughs> 